Iraj Lal is a senior vice president at MediCover Hospitals Group, which operates 20 hospitals in India. He joins us now from Hyderabad in India. Hello, thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Hello. So first of all, can you please describe how does a dire situation in India regarding the coronavirus play out on the ground right now? Uh, the condition of pandemic of COVID in India is very bad. This pandemic is compounding with so many problems which is coming in our country. Say, for example, we got a, a massive shortage of liquid oxygen among all the hospitals, whether government setup or a private setup. Secondly, the medication which is required to treat the COVID patient is in short supply. So therefore, the condition is very grave and every hospital and every medical center is struggling to get medicine as well as oxygen. So it, the second wave is hitting youngsters. If you see first wave which has coming, which was there in the country, generally old population is having an impact. Now all our ICU beds, all our oxygen beds are all full and patient is struggling from one place to another for a want of a bed. If you, if you say in our MediCover hospitals, we have treated around 3,000 patients for the last one month and around, you know, we see our all beds are full. Patients are in the waiting list. So we have taken some COVID care centers where we are managing the patient there. Primary screening is done and whenever they become sick, we are shifting to our main center inside the hospital for, uh, for ventilated beds. So that is a condition for COVID as of now in the country. Mr. Lal, um, just a few months ago, India was perceived as a success in terms of uh, overcoming the coronavirus. What led to the current uh, situation? I think people are not following the protocols. They are not wearing masks in general public. All the red restaurants are on. If you see the social gathering, I think we have not learned from the first wave. And as a result, the second wave is more serious and it required, we have not prepared very well in the first wave. We got a cushion period of around one and a half month to two months. But in that way, the oxygen plants has not been installed in various yeah. hospitals and the government setup. And as a result, we're into the second wave, which is taking a toll in a massive way. So what is needed to be done right now in order to avoid a catastrophe in the next uh, couple of weeks or months? I feel three point strategy to be done by most of the hospital and the government and the people. Number one, vaccinate more and more people. We are starting a uh, vaccination from 1st of May again, number one. Second, government has to supply medicine and, and liquid medical oxygen, number two. Number three, uh, you know, we have to impose lockdown in some major cities like Delhi, Bangalore and cities like Hyderabad for a week so that we can break the chain, we can make our structure efficient so that we can fight with this corona second wave in an efficient way. Okay, we really hope for uh, really good news in the near future from India. Mr. Uh, Niraj Lal, Senior Vice uh, President in uh, MediCover Group in India. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much and stay safe.